Oh my god, it's sunny today. Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Will It Fit. No, but seriously, uh, I'm going to do part two of the Will It Fit series. And I'm actually going to try to see what the Bronco body will fit on. And I'll try some other bodies that I have laying around just to see what works. So first up, I'm going to try the Bronco body on the Defender chassis. Alright, so actually the front bumper is getting in my way. I'm going to go ahead and take the front bumper off and I'll be back. So I have the front bumper removed. Let's see if the Bronco body fits on the Defender chassis. little wasp MMA action. Alright guys, so here it is. Doesn't look too bad. The rear wheels look to be a bit far back, but that's due to the Defender longer wheelbase. But all in all, not bad. It does fit. So the one thing I will mention is that Although it does fit, it looks like the back body mount post is on a slight angle. So I'm kind of forcing it to fit, but it's not much of a stretch. Maybe only a few millimeters. I don't think it would really cause much of an issue. Alright, so while I have the Defender chassis out, I'm going to see if the Axial Wraith spawn body fits. I took the rear body posts out. But the chassis is a bit longer than the Wraith spawn body. Alright, so I'm going to try the Bronco body on an SCX-10 too. It actually looks pretty cool. The front mounting posts will fit up. The issue is going to be in the rear. The rear body post will not match up with the pre-drilled holes that are on the body. But if you want to go ahead and drill your own holes or find another way of rigging this up with uh, Velcro, it would actually look pretty good. The stock front bumper for the SCX-10 2 these little side tabs stick out a little bit so it does kinda block the front of the Bronco body but if you run a different bumper or maybe even cut those tabs off it might not be a problem and just because I have the spawn out, I'm going to see if the Bronco body fits the spawn. Yeah, so the body's way bigger than the spawn cage. But it still looks kind of cool just laying on there. But I wouldn't recommend trying this. And I'm going to try a spawn body on the SEX-10 too. Yeah, so the chassis is a little longer than the body, but it does kind of look cool. And because I can, a Traxxas Raptor body on the Defender chassis. It actually looks kind of cool. You would really have to modify the holes that are in the body in order for the body post to fit. But you could probably get it to work if that's what you wanted to do. And here is the Proline Hilux. And this is on the Defender chassis. At one point I did have this body on this chassis. I had the rear shock mounts flipped and moved forward. And I had the body cut out in the back. So I just flipped these shock mounts around. Moved them up to this hole here. Uh, the only thing I had to do besides that was take off this battery hole down because the shock cross brace here, the body post holder, would block this. So I just ran a battery strap and just didn't use it. And I converted the chassis back because I wanted to use the defender body again and use the tactical body. So A Bigfoot body on a defender chassis. Alright guys, so that's about it for today. If you liked what you saw, please click the like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do. Please subscribe. And have a great day. Take care.